What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. I'm John the Video Guy and in today's video I'm going to be going over the new features in Premiere Pro 2022. So Adobe released the latest version of Premiere Pro at the Max conference and in today's video I'm going to be going over all the updates as well as some of the things in the beta version that hasn't been released to the full version but something really exciting in the future called Remix where you can easily remix songs to a certain time. So that's really nice and let's get started with this tutorial but feel free to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. Let's dive in and talk about the new features. So if you go to the Adobe's website under Premiere Pro, you'll see all the features here. And if you want to read more about each individual one, I'll drop a link down in the video description. Feel free to go check it out if you're interested. But the first one here is they updated the version number of the actual software to the year. So you'll notice it's not 16, it's uh, version 22.0. So, you know, if that's important to you, there you go, guys. So indeed, if you do go into the Creative Cloud application, you'll see that it's version 22. And the previous versions, it was on 15.4 before. So instead of making it 16, they made it 22. What they really should have done is updated the colors of the applications to be different than After Effects, Media Encoder, and Audition. I can't tell which one's which anymore. You have to really look closely. I don't know whose idea that was, but that they didn't do. Um, drop a comment down below if you guys don't like that, because I feel like we should all protest against that. So other than that, guys, so there's speech to text improvements, simplified sequence. There's better playback for the 10 bit H.264 on the Apple M1. So a lot of Kodak improvements. One note for LUTs is they updated color management so you can automatically input LUTs inside Premiere Pro. So I'll show you that. So I don't really work with input LUTs that much. I'm not shooting on uh, Sony cameras, but what you can do is right click, go to modify, interpret footage, and you can actually add an input LUT automatically instead of having to actually add it to the timeline and then go to color and then add an input LUT that way. That saves you time, that way if you're adding you know, videos to several sequences, you don't have to do it manually every time. It's already in there as soon as you input the in, import the footage and add that LUT initially in the project panel. So it saves you time that way if you are working with input LUTs. So the other thing in Premiere Pro and probably one of the biggest improvements is the workspace with the color. So if you go to the color panel here, and we click on a clip, one of the things, if we go to Lumetri Scopes, is you'll notice that the vector scope is in color now, which is very interesting. Before it was all in white, and if you double click on it, you can actually zoom in up to two times to actually zoom in and see where the colors are. So that's nice. As well, if you look at the curves uh, panel, the curves auto adjust now if you expand this uh, panel. Before it was, locked into a square so all of these panels now adjust when you make them a lot bigger and this is really nice if you're working on external monitors and you want to make this full screen and it's a custom resolution you can really just crank this thing out and really zoom in on the actual color definition for your video clips okay so now let's talk about everyone's favorite the simplify sequence feature in premiere pro so this is a new feature if you go here into the sequence settings, sequence, simplify sequence is a new option. And there's a lot of different options that you can choose from. You can close vertical gaps on video tracks and you can delete empty tracks, graphics, transitions through edits, disabled or muted tracks, disable clips, offline clips, and clips with a label color, as well as sequence markers. And what's interesting here is that it doesn't do this on the sequence itself. It actually makes a duplicate of the sequence and then you have a separate sequence that's simplified. So what we can do here is rename the simplified sequence anything we want. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it that name of the new sequence. I'm gonna check that, uh, delete empty tracks, delete through edits, all of these that you can do. And what's interesting with the markers, so say if I wanted to get rid of the green markers I have there, it'll get rid of those. So if we hit simplify, you'll see that simplified everything a lot. It closed the gaps, it brought those adjustment layers down and left the one marker there. So, but I can also go back to the original here too. 
So I have two sequences, the original and then the simplified version. And a quick note with the through edits I noticed is that say if you have a through edit, which is basically the same cut, same clip with a cut, um, but one might have effects on it or different things. So for example here, this one has lumetri color and I scaled up the um, scale on it. And this version of the clip has not, uh, no scale adjustment or lumetri color. Back on the sequence simplified, it kind of collapsed that. So that's just something to keep in mind is if you check the through edits box, it will kind of merge those two clips even if it still has different effects and parameter changes on it. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right guys, let's talk about Remix. So this is a new feature that's only in beta. So I'm gonna show you guys how to launch this, install beta and use Remix in the beta version of Premiere Pro. So if you go to the Creative Cloud application, what you'll have to do is go under beta apps and you'll see installed and desktop apps. You'll have to install the Premiere Pro version one I already did, so I'm gonna click open. And just know guys, if you use beta apps, they have some bugs in them. They're in the beta uh, series, that's why it's named beta. So it's not a full version of Premiere Pro, it's in testing phase. So what you can do here is once you open it, you can click on new project and you'll notice that there's, it looks completely different. There's a lot of new features in the beta version that they're still working on. We'll click create project and we'll click replace. And there's, uh, this does look different. So uh, the windows are up here, the workspace windows. So you click that button and go to editing. And what we'll do is we'll drag in this song that I found on the YouTube audio library, which is a great resource, linked down in the video description if you are looking for free, royalty-free uh, music to use in your YouTube videos. And this one is a very dynamic song by uh, a DJ, Jana. So <clears throat> this uh, track is gonna be really dynamic. And if we play it back here, There's a lot of different parts and things going on. So this is a good test track to kind of use Remix and see how it does. So what we're gonna do here is go to Window Essential Sound. Make sure this is brought up, it's here to the right. And what we'll do is click on the clip in the timeline and assign it as a music track. So we'll click that and then we'll click the box next to duration. And you can see that the remix is in progress. So what this is doing is Adobe Sensei is analyzing the music track and identifying the different parts of it. And that way it can adjust the music track as needed to different um, lengths of time. So as you can see here, it is done. And what you can do is change the target length. So say if we wanted this to be 30 seconds specifically, we can just type in 30 seconds here and it will adjust the song to be exactly 30 seconds. And there you go, it is 30 seconds now. And as you can see, this can be really helpful if you know, you're working on commercials or social media clips that have to be a certain length. So this is a really nice way once it gets released into the full version of Premiere Pro, an easy way to simplify and kind of condense or make uh, a music track shorter to a specific length of time. So if we zoom in here, guys, you'll see the squiggly lines and that's kind of where Adobe Sensei is changing the music or making the cuts, you know, and remixing it together. So if we play this back, we can listen and see what Adobe Sensei has done. So it did a really nice job actually right out of the gate. But there are a few adjustments that you can make if you want. So here uh, you can edit the length, you can have it be longer or shorter. So if you make it shorter, it's gonna add more squigglies and the beat's gonna change more often. If you make it longer, it's gonna be, um, the beats are gonna hold and be longer. 
So for example, if I just slide this over, you'll see that there's only one squiggly now. But if we slide it to the left, you'll see that there's uh, several squigglies now and that it's really dynamic and it changes a lot. For me, I like somewhere in the middle, but you can adjust this as needed. And then there's timber and harmonics. So if you change this, it'll focus more on the timber and the harmonics uh, if you go the other way. And if you want, you can Google that later um, and learn what it really focuses on. For this beta version specifically, I notice that it does better in uh, the timber more than the harmonics. The harmonics, if you go that way, it kind of has some phasing or some um, kind of weirdness happening with the music. So I would recommend just kind of sticking in the middle or lean to timber for now. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much Adobe um, Remix, and it's really exciting. We'll have to see uh, how they improve upon it. Feel free to go test it out in the beta version and send Adobe in your thoughts on this feature in Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you are excited as I am with the new features here in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys want to learn more about Premiere Pro, I actually put together a playlist for you guys. I'll link it right up here. Feel free to go check it out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.